city to us to surmount marital challenges. Deputy Governor Ibezim gave the advice at Emil's house in Oka during a wedding reception of one of his protocol officers, Chisum Echele, and his hard throw, former Miss Chiamaka. Government House correspondent Emmanuel Kunkwo has the details. The deputy governor who observed that marriage is easy when both partners know and play their respective roles in the family accordingly said that singles and young couples should not be scared of challenges that come with marriage as according to him marital challenges are surmountable deputy governor bezim then encouraged mr chisum and his wife chiamaka to always love one another tackle their challenges collectively and make god the head of their family in order to succeed in the marital journey pass through these things you know it's not an easy thing eh? chisum um, so welcome to the world. So it is not something that you enter with fear. It is something you enter with joy. Earlier in remark, the new couple whose joy knew no bounds, promised to forever love and cherish each other, even as they thanked their guests, especially the deputy governor, for sharing in their joy. I want to thank in a particular way my benefactor. He's not just um, a boss to me. I don't know where or what I would have been doing today if not for him, His Excellency. Dr. Oye Kachwibe is in the Deputy Governor of Alhambra State. I appreciate you so much, sir. Thanks for coming. In Oka, I am Emmanuel Okonkwo, reporting for ABS News. The News and Current Affairs Department of Alhambra Broadcasting Service, ABS, has hosted a send-off party to bid farewell to its immediate past director, Mr. Gebo Baleze, and other retiring staff from the department. The event was doubly significant as it also marked Mr. Obaleze's 60th birthday ceremony. Correspondent Emmanuel Chibata reports. Held at Stella Okoye's Hall within the ABS premises, the celebrations saw distinguished guests in attendance, including the Anambra State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Adiremi Adeoye, represented by the State Police Public Relations Officer, Mr. Toshuku Ikenga, ABS Managing Director, Sashido Obidiegu, ABS Directors, Media Practitioners, and other members of ABS staff. Among the retirees honored at the event were Lady Monique Okechuku, Mr. Theophilos Ukoha, Mr. Fidelis Mwakwesele, Mrs. Regina Onyanose, Mrs. Ifoma Okoli, and Mrs. Edna Okonkwo. The gathering served not only as a farewell to the retirees, but also as an occasion to celebrate their remarkable contributions during their years of service in ABS. The event also provided an opportunity for the former director, Mr. Obaleze, to impart his valuable experience on the news department through a lecture. Speaking, Sashido expressed the importance of the occasion as a moment for reflection and encouraged all staff to remain dedicated and avoid negligence while describing Mr. Obaleze as a model of diligence, dedication, and professionalism. I want to say thank you very much for ABS. It is the foundation that you guys laid that is making us proud today. Earlier in a welcome address, the new director, News and Current Affairs, Mrs. Judy Jeff Mwabweze, extended a warm welcome to the retirees and expressed her gratitude for Mr. Obaleze's mentorship during his tenure. He taught us so well, without missing words. We owe it to him to give him a deputy send-off party. In his valedictory lecture titled The Place of Traditional Broadcasting in Checkmating Social Media Excesses, Mr. Obaleze thanked the news department for organizing the event and addressed the downsides of social media while urging traditional broadcasters to embrace professionalism in the face of increasing competition from online platforms. As a broadcaster, is to present your own without bias as a professional. 
In a remark, the former director of protocol, Anambra State Government House, Sashaos Mbakiigwe, offered encouraging words and appreciated the news department for honoring Mr. Baleze and other retirees. The event included cutting of birthday cake, presentation of gifts to the celebrants by the news departments and other individuals, and dance by the celebrants. Emmanuel Shibata for ABS News. And it's congratulations and happy birthday to Mr. Gebo Baleze. Moving on, economic policy expert and former vice president of the World Bank, African region, Dr. Obi Ezekwesili, has said that Africa is in dire need of a political system and culture that will engender economic prosperity of citizens. Correspondent Joseph Ebocha now reports. In a lead paper presentation at the 2023 International Hybrid Conference organized by UNIZIC Business School, OCA, Dr. Zekwesele, a former Nigerian Minister of Education, regretted that the dominant mindset of African political leaders negates common good of the citizens, the reason the continent is still lagging behind. Also in his keynote speech, the chairman of United Nigeria Airlines, Professor Obiora Konkwo, represented by Professor Charles Obiora, affirmed that a peaceful political transition guarantees enhanced development that ensures that people feel the impact of democracy and called on African leaders to make equity and accountability their watchword in all policies and implementation actions. Vice Chancellor of Nanda Zikwe University, Oka, Professor Charles E. Simone, represented by former Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, Professor Frederick Odibo noted that many African countries have passed through political transitions from colonialism to independence long enough to have broken the yoke of underdevelopment, expressing hope that the conference would help open new insights towards tackling the Nigerian and African challenges. Also in their remarks, the host and director of UNIZIC Business School, Professor Ima Okoye and the chairman of Nigerian Institute of Management, Venerable Professor Anna Young Kanebe, said international discourse of this nature stimulates critical thinking that helps drive development, expressing hope that a blueprint will be generated at the end of the conference to inform policies that will improve governance. I've already started my address, started my address on a note of gratitude. It will not be out of place. Speaking on how economic policies affect lives and businesses in Nigeria and Africa at large, the Chief Executive Officer of Chikasin Group's Chief Chiko Kafo, who received the Dynamic Entrepreneur Award, former National Vice President of Ahanez Ndibo Worldwide, Chief Charles Odenukwe, who received the Dynamic Entrepreneur of Excellence Award, and former President of Association of National Accountants of Nigeria, Professor Benjamin Osisioma, who received Distinguished Academic Leadership Award, said the conference is a wake-up call for leaders to be people-oriented in their development actions in order to meet the yearnings of the masses, regretting that Africa remains the only continent where people are desperate to migrate from their God-given land. I get to remember. You understand me? So they have reminded me of the things that happened in the past that made them to recognize me today. So I'm a senior hacker. Earlier, the chairman of the occasion and Nigeria State Governor, Dr. Alex Uti, represented by Professor Sam Omeni, said the theme of the conference, Political Transition and Economic Development, the African Perspective, is apt, especially now that there are changes in political leadership in states of African nations. In Oka, Joseph Ebocha reporting for ABS News. And that's a wrap on the hard news. Insider News returns right after the break. Stay with us. Welcome to Insider News Proper. Are you among those who enjoy garden eggs, or is there a particular species you prefer to others? Do you even know that there is a made in Anambra garden egg? Relax the nerves and let us watch as Ngozubilari of Insider News provides answers to all these questions and more as she paid a visit to garden egg farms at Ada Zenu in Anocha local government area. Here is her report. For the past 20 years and more, according to research, 
A particular species of garden egg, known as Angara in Igbo dialect, has not been seen in market. Rather, another species, green as the one that has gone extinct, was all over the place. Curious to know the origin of the new species, Insider News was taken to a community in Anambra State, Ada Zenu community. Ada Zenu is in an other local government area in Anambra Central Senatorial District with a population of about 500,000 people. History has it that a farmer from Enuguadazi brought the new species of garden egg from Aba, Abia State, and soon after it escalated to all the villages in Adazenu, and by so doing, making Adazi the sole producer of this particular species of garden egg. And so insider news journeyed to Adazenu. Well, Mana Anakata Anata Anata Fun and Dubai Nakoziana. At a point in time, on this Kabaya Buzi Ebe de Pangala. And then you put my cab in K. Ibu, Bokon Kausa. And the Jews, Fun and Dubai by the Zenu Balumbo, you were this very species for Maba. Nakoka Nuzi, no news. So, in Adazenu, a particular village called Ogwenioji specialized mostly in the cultivation of the garden egg. Inside the farm, various activities were seen, while some pluck the mature ones, others pack and bag them and take them to the houses. Worthy of note is that garden egg farmers are employers of labor from the first stage to the last. At this point, let us hear from them processes involved in garden egg cultivation. Around January or February, we do the nozzle, like this one. This one, we we keep this one. This one is for next year. We will leave it to get ripe. Okay. We'll keep this one. The water, we will put it in a bag. We hang it, the water will decay. drop. Mm. Uh -huh. the, by next year, it will be sharp. Then we use it use for nozzle. For nozzle. Mm -hmm. After three months, put it in the ground. After three months, we transplant it to this permanent uh, place. We harvest Afo. Today is Afo to sell Unkwa. We harvest Unkwa to sell Eke. We harvest Eke to sell Oye. We harvest Oye to sell Afo. That's uh, four days in a week. So we shift from different farm. We will rotate it every four days. We must we will be sure something will come out. Because this fruit this is a miraculous something. It bears fruit every three, every four days, mm -hmm. provided we give it the necessary the money. Necessary mm -hmm. It bears fruit every four days. Because I didn't have gold, because none of forget that about me when I'm by the other. My by God's grace, I'm again here. If by chance, but chance, it's such a chance, it's such a chance. We got the angle, I'm pulling angle. Open the door, we got the door. Just a thousand dollars, I'm up to the other end. It just. Well, <laughs> Okay. You are now four four days away, lawyer. Yeah. Every four days, you better be a Okay. Yeah. Every four days, you better be a Golanga. On inquiry whether they use fertilizers, it was discovered that some use organic, while some combine both animal droppings and inorganic manure. What are the challenges faced by garden egg farmers? Okay. So, our problem is fertilizer. Fertilizer in the sense of uh, organic. We use Dynafan, you know Dynafan, uh, it's organic. We use super glue, it's organic. For now, super glue says for 54,000. Five bag. liquid, five liter, that blue, five liter, sell for 54,000. 49. 
Oh. And uh, one bag of uh, this uh, local Droppings. organic fertilizer, mm. which is uh, sure mm. uh, That one says for 1,005, 2,000. If you want to share this place, this place will take about 30 to 40 bags. Oh. Just look at it. We are really having it very, so very hard. Very hard. Okay. This one, you, you see the color, it's mm. changing because. He needs some rain, uh, rain and the manure. Makana number one, the capital. Your name is Ando Luba and Akia. Need the regun. Are you going to fertilize? Ofado need the qualo equipment like a tractor. No, no, no. This quantity is manual. mechanized. So now, if you um, now need the support financially, then you have a the social infrastructure. When the government is not going to go to the government, the government is not going to go so, I'm not making it. Now, for the Zen administration solution, Soludo, I don't know if we're going to go. So, no gun out there, Anya, Abu Nuza, Alosia, and Makuza connected the Nopa, and the Zen Aquese. I want Alochaya, Ndibai, Nakangala, Gafuza Hagas in a boogie after, and the Chapani Bagoti Gote, Afuza has where there before you know it. And they go transport and transport. I'm a government in Qua. I am a Dutch Noro. I'm making a good and gone around all the ways. They use the bag down on our way. Luan Bosso, who was to go my own, was to go my own. Didn't any wangle. So I'm going to madden to know. So I'm going to go and 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 go Insider news also gathered that some friends of the farmers from other communities of the state have tried cultivating the garden egg over the years, but to no avail. Um, at the Zenu Town Union was of the opinion that if well harnessed, Anambra will be supplying garden egg to all parts of the country in and out of season. Good <laughs> Instead, I news visited Nkwame Nyoka to find out the two species of garden egg available at the market presently, the one people prefer. <laughs> Like 
research has proven that the green garden egg is beneficial to the liver, regulates blood pressure, maintains the functions of the heart, controls glucose absorption, and reduces risk of hypertension and suppresses sugar level. I am Ngozi Obileri for ABS Insider News. Indeed, the land is green. Moving on, Nokwa community in recent times rolled out the drums in celebration of this year's Aheolu Festival. And as usual, men, women, youths, young and old, all looked their best as they commemorated the event. Valentine Obadoya is standing by for details of the event. Local community in the Demli South local government area has once again celebrated its ancient culture known as Ahiolo Festival. Every 15th October is usually remarkable as it marks the beginning of a well-celebrated festival in Nokwa, attracting the people of Nokwa from far and wide. Nokwa Council of Elders are usually in charge of the festival while youths parade the town and a market with masquerades in commemoration of the festival. festival must end on a K market day and so it is not fixed how many days the festival will last for instance if 15th october falls on a K day it means the festival will last for five days if it commences on a market day the festival lasts for four days to end the festival Nokwa community celebrates what they call odunke festival where bigger masquerade from Nokwa and beyond performs On the significance of the festival, the traditional Prime Minister of Nokwa, Chief Richard Okelu, who was seated at a market with members of the Igwe's cabinet, said that Ahiol Festival was to appreciate God for his protection during farming season and to ask for his continuous protection even during harvest. <laughs> A message I use here, can I cook? No, the brilliant. I will reach all right. Half an hour, Tanya. He has to be angry, and no angry. I can't even. And a mere mamma, Monday, Madame, you have come away. Up to Tanya, can no come. They can no come. Can a mere, and you have an angry, angry, like a girl. The President General of Noka, Wing Commander Joe Anika retired, was present at the event. Oh, man, I need the balboa. 
every year one year the chairman Nokwa Council of Elders in the Ebukebo cannot be forgotten in a period like this. The Kaibidoka continue ebending Nana Hakosere, no manana Ibo Amaka, Nepusere, Ebo Bona, Mafi Bono, Mandona Nobuda, Mandona abroad. At Ekenokwa, Akajio for Eke, also Chibuzo Ezejidako, explained the age long event and its significance. <laughs> Masquerade like Ijele, Apolumpium Dim, Obambada, Ajofia, Odogu, among others, performed at the Odunke Festival to mark the end of 2023 Ahiolo Festival. <laughs> Remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from many parts of the world by liking our Facebook page and follow us at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube at ABS Television and on X at ABS Radio TV and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And that's it on this side and it's for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Maureen Stone, Energy K, and I'll see you Sunday next. Good night.